Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another vlog or political rant, or whatever you might want to call this by me, Titan Ted. I know I did do a video of a similar nature or format to this recently, only a couple of days ago, but I felt like doing that one because it was, you know, it was World Mental Health Awareness Day, and uh, I just thought it was particularly relevant to my personal being and uh, such that I make a video on that subject. Um, Today's video is on a considerably different subject, considering that this today's video on is going to be on politics. I know everyone has their own differing opinions, so I'll try to be as objective as I can. If I do insult anyone's opinions, I'm sorry, but uh, not sorry, basically. I mean, it's like... I'm trying to be as objective as I can here, but ultimately we've all got our own opinions and we just have to agree to disagree, really, don't we, on the politics. We, you know, try to keep our best to uh, not being bitter and uh, unprofessional, but uh, you can only try so hard at that, can't you? But uh, what I wanted to uh, talk about in regards to politics today was the fact of, um, or rather the um, happening of the recent video released by large name and very successful uh, YouTube vlogger called Casey Neistat. Now, let me make something very clear. I really respect Casey Neistat. He works tirelessly on all of his channels and medias, and he is a very talented producing and um, presenting kind of personality. He is entertaining, and he is, I believe, a good man. And I do have to respect the idea of him being so open and frank with his views sometimes. However, there's a certain kind of audience for each individual kind of show, and Nice Stats, I think, is a primarily sort of personal and some degree comedic one. And I think that's good. I think there's always going to be a place for each individual kind of audience on YouTube, which is why, despite its faults, I love this website so much. Um, but there's going to probably be a few sort of specific subject areas, therefore, that Neistat's audience, as well as many other specific kind of YouTubers, might not want to hear about, that their audiences might not want to be so interested in or hear about all the time. To be fair, they may be interesting topics, but then again, they may be topics that said audiences hear enough about or just don't want to hear about in general. And in his most, well, not his most recent, but one of his most recent vlogs, uh, Neistat basically sat down in front of his camera um, and basically spoke to the camera pointing out to all of the uh, people on his uh, channel and who are subscribed to him that he will be voting for Hillary Clinton in the upcoming American presidential election. He then goes on to uh, call out all large YouTubers to vote for Hillary Clinton. Now on one hand this is uh, kind of a bit of a ballsy move. You have to admire the sheer brass nuts of this guy to just flat out say vote for who I'm voting for because that is right. But that doesn't make it right. In fact, in both the methodology and the, you know, practical ideology of what he's employing here, I believe, is wrong. I'm not saying that his belief in Hillary Clinton is wrong. By all extents and purposes, whether or not you want to vote for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump in the upcoming election, it's entirely your choice and it's entirely your decision to make. I'm not going to say who's right or wrong, I'm just saying that I personally disagree and agree with maybe some of the points that both sides make and that whoever you decide for, make sure it's an informed decision. But. As much as that is being said, with Neistat's video, he's essentially making a point that who he's voting for is THE right person to vote for, that there is no other right answer, and that whoever doesn't vote for Clinton in the upcoming presidential election is essentially voting amorally. Now, on one side of this, you've got the fact that many large YouTubers, in fact, a large majority of the large YouTubers, with like millions upon millions of subscribers, aren't American. People such as KSI or PewDiePie or and the number of uh, Hispanic YouTubers with tens of millions of subscribers and people such as that who just simply put can't vote in the American election. So that already cuts out half of the big YouTubers that Neistat mentions in this video. Then there's also the fact that a great number of the American YouTubers he calls out might want to just vote for Trump or not vote at all or might actually dislike Hillary Clinton quite a considerable bit. There are a large number of American YouTubers like that. 
So on one hand, you've got a large portion of the people, if not most of them, who are going to disagree with him on an ideological or practical basis. Then there's the more sort of moral thing of what's wrong with this video, in the sense that he's essentially calling out other big YouTubers to vote for Hillary Clinton in the upcoming election, which I kind of feel is a bit of a scuzzy thing to do because he's basically putting the onus on these other YouTubers to vote for Hillary Clinton and making the point essentially that if they don't do so they are in the morally wrong camp. Now I know a lot of you watching this will think that Donald Trump is the morally less uh, applicable and admirable sort of person between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. But let's not forget both candidates have done some pretty shitty things and whether or not someone votes for Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, it really won't come down to who's more moral. It will just come down to which one they agree with more or which one they decide who is the lesser evil. Because, to be honest with you, both have done some terrible things in their past. Both have said some quite nasty things in the past as well. I mean, Donald Trump sure comes out with a lot of cringy zingers, but everyone seems to forget the time in... 2005 when Hillary Clinton seemed to oppose gay marriage so it's not like either of them are angels they've both done and said some quite despicable things so what I'm basically saying here is don't pay too much heed and attention to what Neistat says in this video he is making the point that he is voting for one particular candidate in a very passionate sense and that's all right now if he said that and gave the reasons why he was voting for Hillary Clinton I really wouldn't have any problem with this video but what really makes it go over the edge into shitsville is simply the fact that he like I said, puts the onus on other big YouTubers who are eligible to vote in the general election, or the presidential election, as it's known over there, to vote for Clinton and browse, essentially mor morally browbeats people who might be voting neutral or Trump into the dirt in tries to make them feel guilty about not voting for Clinton, which I feel is a remarkably unsporting and uncivilised way to approach this issue. As we all know, this has probably been one of, if the, the most divisive and, dare I say, toxic uh, presidential elections I think we've ever seen in the history of the United States. It's not perhaps not been the most violent or the most, you know, bloody, but it's certainly been the most divisive and contrasting, I would say. So you're going to have a lot of contrasting opinions and a lot of sort of di disagreements. And a lot of people may not want to agree to disagree, which I don't agree with. But then again, that's kind of just human, to be honest. We are all fallible, as one might say. But to implant this kind of sort of onus and pressure on other YouTubers and other users of YouTube to vote one particular way because you personally believe it's morally responsible and right to do so, I believe is in of itself a morally irresponsible thing to do. Not on an ideological basis so much so, not because of the person you're voting for, you know. Just because you may be voting for Clinton or Trump does not mean you. I'm saying you're morally wrong. And just because Neistat is voting for Clinton doesn't mean I think he is morally wrong. What I'm saying is morally wrong about what he is doing here is he is essentially morally and ethically browbeating people into the dirt with the way in which he approaches this issue and the fact that he doesn't just sort of say who he's voting for, why and how and leaves it at that and asks his people, his subscribers to just, you know, have an open mind but essentially say that he's right and he will always be right on this particular issue. And I feel that's a particularly sort of underhanded and unsporting thing to say. I mean, you look at people like, say, Franco, who give as much information as they can to their subscribers on issues like this, and then basically say, all right, guys, that's my piece. You decide what's best for you, and you decide what you think is right. Now, you could say this is a bit of a pussyfootish uh, approach, but I would respectfully disagree. I think it's actually a very constructive way to approach these kind of topics and debates. And to be honest with you, these kind of topics and debates are always going to have toxicity inside them. And they're just always going to be a massive just clusterfuck, basically, of differing opinions and clashing ideas. So you're never going to really get any significant agreeing to disagree. I wish that we could, but you have to think realistically here don't you to be honest so i have to say that 
realistically, if I had the ear of Mr. Nice Dad, I would just say to him, like, remove your video because a lot of your audience aren't politically uh, sort of uh, minded. And that doesn't mean they're stupid or they're not interested in politics, but they're coming to your channel for a specific reason, which generally speaking, isn't to talk about politics. So on one hand, do it for them. On another hand, I would say remove it just simply because like I've repeated myself throughout this video, it's not a very ethically sound video in the sense of how he approaches his uh, decision to vote for Clinton and what he then says after that towards other YouTubers. So again, I would say maybe remove the video on those regards. And lastly, I would just remove the video because simply put, you're essentially sort of forming this kind of circle jerk of hate now by basically releasing this video that is highly moral up, up moralized and basically is you standing on a soapbox. It's going to create a lot of bitterness, which I'm sure, judging from Mr. Neistat's previous comments about sort of important subjects in the past, is not something he wants to do, but just look at his comment section and how many subscribers he's losing since that video. It's it's happening. He's by any means he's done it, and I doubt he meant to because I'm pretty sure he did mean to you know make a genuine point about this upcoming election. But if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I think he did it in a very amoral way, and I think he probably should release a more balanced and level-headed video and perhaps even apologise for it, because the way he's acted towards other big YouTubers who are going to be eligible in this upcoming presidential election, as well as his own subscribers, I believe is, for lack of a better word, scummy and just not right. Now, like I said again, if you're voting for Clinton, it's fine. If you're voting Trump, it's fine. It's your decision, your opinion. If you live in the US, vote for who you want to, vote for who you want to agree with, right? Vote for who benefits you the most. But by God, do not listen to what any of celebrities have to say about who is right and who is wrong in this debate, because they're just people like you and me. They have their own opinions and their own decisions to make, and you have your own opinions and decisions to make. I might disagree and agree with some of what either presidential candidate says. I might take the piss out of either one of them from time to time. I'm never going to vote and then, you know, prompt people to vote one particular way because I want you guys to make an informed decision and make a decision that benefits you as an individual and you as a person and not just go along with the crowd and the collective. Vote for what you want. Damned be all these celebrities who are saying vote one particular way because it's morally right because chances are they've got their own reasons for saying it and realistically they probably won't recognise or reflect your own personal and individual reasons for voting. So just when a celebrity like Casey Neistat, with all due respect to him, says vote Clinton or vote Trump, don't listen to them. Vote Clinton for your own reasons, or if you're voting for Trump, vote Trump for your own reasons. That's all I'm going to say. I know this was a bit of a rant, but I hope that maybe I've gotten through to some of you guys, and in any case, stay safe, stay informed, don't get angry, just agree to disagree, and uh, let's try and get out the last couple of months of this presidential election period nice and calm, alright? Anyway, I've been Ted Richardson, aka Titan Ted. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, or at least found it informative. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye for now.